Today I'm going to be doing my first Socket FM1 motherboard unboxing. This is the ASUS F1A75M Pro. It uses the AMD A75 chipset, as I mentioned before, FM1 socket. This is a brand new socket. This is for special chips, because I can't even call them CPUs anymore, that are called APUs. So they have a CPU component, a graphics component, and that is a DirectX 11 ready graphics component. So let's dive right into this. So we've got A8 Vision, or E2 Vision. I'm actually not familiar with that, what that means, but the chip that I'll be trying this with is actually an A8 CPU, GPU, APU, sorry, it's an APU. So that is what I will be having uh, in terms of my experience, this A8 vision level. Okay, we have DigiPlus VRM, that's nice to see on a micro ATX board. UEFI BIOS, also great to see. Uh, their TPU and EPU processors for performance and energy savings, respectively. USB 3 is featured on this chipset. And let's have a look at the back. So the DigiPlus VRM, they're showing you that lower interference is better. I should certainly think so. And giving us a little bit more information about those features. So the EPU is all about uh, detecting your current PCE loadings and automatically adjusting the energy savings. TPU is for turbo. They've got their auto system level up, uh, auto tuning that's available in the BIOS as well. And the UEFI BIOS allows you to use a mouse. Their, their UEFI BIOS layout is actually outstanding. So. Uh, I would definitely recommend using it if you have this board. Not that you'll have a choice, you will have to use it. Okay, oh, this is a slightly different packaging layout than I've seen on ASUS motherboards before. So let's take the board out really quick here. And let's uh, have a look at what they've done with their accessories. Okay, we've got two SATA 3 6 gigabit per second cables. Yes, this is a SATA 3 6 gigabit per second native motherboard, so the chipset supports it. You don't need any third party chips, and that is six ports, so they're both straight to right angle cables. We have a user's guide, which includes a driver DVD as well as a powered by ASUS sticker. Download the latest drivers off the ASUS or AMD website. Next, we have an IO shield which is helpfully labeled in terms of what's what. Now let's have a look at the board itself. Okay, this is going to be a good unboxing because it's the first one of a brand new platform. I'm always excited about that kind of stuff. So why don't we start right here. This is the Socket FM1. Now it looks similar to Socket AM3, but it's not quite the same. First of all, I want you guys to notice these blocked off pins right here. Can you see those? Okay, so those blocked off pins right there, right away you know socket FM1 if you can't read. So you're not going to even be able to physically fit older AM2 or AM3 processors into this socket. Now I also want to show you guys how to tell which way to orient your CPU. There's a little triangle right there. You're going to match that up with a little gold triangle on the bottom of your chip. That's the way to put it in. You lift up your lever, you put CPU and you lock it down. That's how it works. It works with A4, A6 and A8 APUs and you will have full support for onboard graphics. Remember, uh, one of their competitors had kind of a silly platform before where it's depending on which CPU you plugged in, you did or didn't have access to the onboard graphics, it will all work, no problem. Okay, we've got our 8-pin power in its ideal location up at the top left corner of the board. We have a CPU PWM fan header right there. We have support for dual channel DDR3 memory up to four slots. Just like that, we have our EPU and TPU switches right here. We've also got a memo K switch. So what that means is no matter what memory you're running in here, you can press the memo K button to boot it up and the memory will run at a safe setting so you can get into the BIOS and make any adjustments to the timings and speed. Our 24 pin connectors in its ideal location along the right hand edge, we've got another PWM chassis fan controller. We've got our chipset here, which is excellent to see. It's got a little tiny heatsink on it, so it's clearly not doing much. Uh, most, of the, most of the cool stuff is happening up here in the APU. We've got six SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports. Those are native, those are off the AMD chipset. Awesome, love to see that. Here's our front panel headers. So that's for your power switch, your LEDs, your all that good stuff. We have a USB 3 internal header. That's also, oh, that's terrific to see. This board has six USB 3 ports on a micro ATX board. Outstanding. We've got four USB 2 headers, because all that support is still built into the chipset. So I guess ASUS figured, well, we'll just throw the headers on there. They can plug in as much USB as they please. Okay, we've got our uh, front panel audio. And in terms of the slot level, look at that, another 4-pin PWM fan. This is actually a pretty high-end motherboard, especially considering the form factor, as well as a 3-pin fan connector. So we got 4 PW, uh, 3 PWM and one 3-pin 
fan controller. All right, let's have a look at what we got in terms of slots. So we've got a PCIe 16X slot, PCIe 1X slot, a PCI slot, and then a PCIe physical 16X slot, but you can actually see in here the wires, it's only wired for 8X. So if you were to run Crossfire X, which means two discrete graphics, then you would be running it at 8X, 8X. Okay, let's see what AMD says about, or AMD, ASUS says about this board. You got dual graphics, DirectX 11 support. What's dual graphics? Well, dual graphics means you take your APU, you put it there, you take your GPU, you put it there, and they will actually work together, kind of like a hybrid Crossfire used to do, except it actually seems to work quite well this time around. So that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, other than that, I guess they're not really saying too much about it. Oh yeah, this is cool. Check this out. So this bracket here looks kind of different from what we've seen before on AMD motherboards, but guess what? Still compatible with your old AMD compatible heatsink. So you've got the same mounting holes, you've got the same clips right here, so you shouldn't run into any problems as far as using your older solution, so you don't have to waste money upgrading stuff that still works just fine. We've got four USB three ports on the back, one of those PS2 mouse keyboard combo ports, optical audio out, HDMI, VGA, and DVI. Of note is the fact that the DVI port supports up to 2560 by 1600 dual link. Very cool. Haven't seen that on onboard graphics yet. Uh, two USB 2 ports, an Ethernet port, Gigabit Ethernet of course, and 7.1 audio out. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the FM A75M Pro from ASUS. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.